Gold prices start the week with a big move higher, about 22 bucks. Recall that we had that flash crash, or at least the beginning part of a flash crash on August 6th. It seems like a lifetime ago. On August 10th, we did see that flash crash all the way down to 1690. Uh, since then, it has been a retracement higher. Since August 10th, we've seen prices moving higher. And today, we got all the way back to those pre-flash crash levels near around 1804. So back in that comfort zone where gold spent a majority of the part, uh, middle to end part of July. So at this point, gold prices kind of back into that old range uh, as we head into Jackson Hole this week. Clearly, the market focused on what the Fed may or may not say about removing its accommodative policies. Uh, that has been the focus. There was expectations that they would talk about tapering. Now maybe some of those expectations have shifted or backed off. Uh, the dollar headed lower, that helped gold prices. Treasury yields were lower today, that helped gold prices. But cryptocurrencies were higher. So I guess two out of three made a big day for gold as we did see a big rally in gold, pushing it higher back up to those pre-flash crash prices. Try and say that five times fast. And at this point, uh, gold will likely sit and wait for that next catalyst event, which clearly could be the Friday uh, testimony from Fed Chair Powell, among other central bankers at the Jackson Hole Symposium later this week. Now, what does this do to volatility? Well, if you check out that CVOL index over at cmegroup.com, you will notice that as the market has gravitated back towards those pre-flash crash levels, volatility has been coming off. And now that we're here, market's just gonna start to see flat volatility until we see that next it move, until we see that next catalyst event. Could it be Jackson Hole? If Jackson Hole is in nothing, it could be the next bit of data we get the following week. Uh, clearly, the dollar is going to be a big part of this discussion as well. So ultimately, volatility now, we're back to the comfort zone, back to the old range, that level, that right around 1800 level that we straddled towards the middle part to end part of July, ahead of the big flash crash. Uh, how long can we stay there? And if we do stay there, expect volatility to trade sideways, possibly even to continue to decline, obviously with some event risk on the, on the horizon likely to see volatility nudge a little bit higher. But again, post uh, data, post Jackson Hole is a different ball game. So keep an eye on that vault chart at CVOL, on that CVOL chart, excuse me, at cmegroup.com. Lastly, let's look at positioning. What are the speculators doing? They are at post flash crash we saw last week based on the CFC data. They exited, dumped their long positions as we traded from 1804 all the way down to 1690 in a very fast paced market. Since then, though, we've seen, uh, we've seen positioners, speculators adding back to their long positions. So it's hard to say exactly when they got in, perhaps when the market started to rally after a few days. Uh, as of last Tuesday, we saw them adding back a lot of their long positions. So part of this rally generated by speculators getting back in. Again, a lot of this has to do with this Friday's uh, Jackson Hole Symposium and the shift in expectations. It'll be interesting to see if the Fed share does give a more dovish tone, which would then uh, give reason for a lot of the speculators adding back to their longs. If he doesn't, if he acts a little more hawkish, talks about tapering sooner than later, and the possibility of, dare I say, raising rates, uh, then things might turn south for gold prices and speculators likely to be the first out uh, if that happens to be the case. So ultimately, keep an eye on what happens Friday. Uh, the Fed chair speaks at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, that will be the highlight of the week. It'll be a dollar highlight. It'll be a gold highlight. It'll be a market highlight. Uh, along with other central bankers as well. So gold opening the week, getting back to those pre-flash crash levels that took us from 1804 down to 1690. We're right back up at 1804 ahead of Jackson Hole.